in just over two minutes, the defendant, with the intent to murder as many African Americans as he could, killed 10 innocent black people and attempted to kill three others. This case is a poster child for swift justice. No individual in the history of the state of New York has been found guilty of that domestic terrorism charge motivated by hate until today. And he pled guilty to that highest charge today. By pleading guilty to the state terrorism charge, there is an automatic sentence for that. That automatic sentence is life without parole. There is nothing higher than that in New York State. Today our client pled guilty to every count of the indictment with the full knowledge that he will spend the rest of his life in prison with no chance of parole. Though the federal case continues, his actions today ensure that there will be no state court trial and he will not appeal. This critical step represents a condemnation of the racist ideology that fueled his horrific actions on May 14th. Before he is sentenced to life without the possibility of parole, on February 15th, the surviving victims and deceased victims' family members will all have an opportunity to address the court, the community, and our client directly. It is our hope that a final resolution of the state charges will help in some small way to keep the focus on the needs of the victims and the community. 